So we just went through our first snowstorm. It was a mid-November snowstorm and pretty much nobody was really prepared for it. So for those of you that don't know, in addition to plowing for myself privately, I also plow for my local highway department. And this storm, we were not prepared. I don't think anybody in the area was really prepared. A lot of things went wrong. Uh, nobody was really expecting it to snow this much and therefore, you know, everybody kind of stayed at work till normal hours. And when that rush hour traffic hit in conjunction with the snow, it was just an absolute nightmare. I do have a small clip of video, which I will show you kind of what I went through during the storm. Uh, I'll, I'll show you that later on in this video, but of all times for me not to have my video camera, this was probably the storm that I really should have had my video camera because it was just insane. So for this storm, I was given a different truck and a different route, that of which of what I'm normally used to. So I was given this truck probably about two hours before it started snowing. That gave me very little time to inspect this truck and make sure that everything was operating properly, which the truck had quite a few problems going into the storm. Uh, for one, the hydraulic connections for the salt spreader were all rusty and corroded and I needed some help from the mechanics and, and my fellow co-workers and we were able to get those hydraulic lines hooked up. And the salt spreader, the main spinner shaft, the bearing for that was completely blown out and, and we had no time to put a new pillow block in there so the whole time while I was going through the snowstorm, the, the spinner was just rattling around you know because there was no bearing so uh, other than that I mean the truck I mean the truck did pretty good uh, the truck I was driving I'll show you a picture now it is a Mack it is a tandem axle it is also one of the biggest trucks we have in our fleet well it is the biggest truck uh, because it's in charge of keeping open uh, a very important stretch of road so let me talk to you about the run I was given my run covers two roads but they're very long roads and they're also main arteries. The most important road that I cover goes in front of the police station, it goes to the hospital, it connects to the throughway, so it's very important that this road stays clear and open. So being given this truck probably two hours before it started snowing, and then you know you calculate another hour and 45 minutes of mechanical maintenance, I had about 15 minutes to take my truck out and, and really get on the road, which I mean really wasn't much time at all. I didn't have time to hook up my front plow before the storm. The wings always stay on the truck. So just about as I was pulling out on my run, you know, it started to snow. And as soon as it came down, I mean, it was pretty much sticking. We didn't have time to put brine down on the road to create kind of a barrier between the pavement and the snow. So everything that fell, it stuck. And the worst part about it was it was all what we call hard pack. And that's when you get like a real heavy wet snow and cars drive over it and it just packs it in there. It's really difficult to pick up, uh, especially when you have below freezing temperatures and it's night. Uh, and then on top of that, you know, the rush hour traffic came in and it was just a nightmare. Uh, the, the main artery that I was plowing, I'll show you the video in a second here. Uh, basically, anytime there was a hill, everybody was getting stuck. Anybody that didn't have four wheel drive, you know, small Honda Civics, minivans, you name it. Yeah, let me let me just show you the video now. That's Hunter from the highway department. He used to work in our department. As soon as he gets a lane, he's gonna go right down the middle and I'm gonna follow him. <laughs> this is crazy. I swear to God, look at this guy. Just spinning his tires right next to the plow truck. Crazy. So I was probably able to salt for about 45 minutes before everyone started getting stuck and at that point I still did not have my front plow on and I made, I made the judgment call that I, I figured it would be in the best interest of everyone if I stopped what I'm doing and went and put on my front plow because by that point you know there was a pretty decent buildup of snow on the road there was probably a couple inches you know. So I stopped what I was doing. It took me about a half hour to get down to the lot where I put my plow on. It would have been much quicker if you know the roads weren't pretty much stopped dead. So I put my plow on and I just pulled back on to this road, which this is the main artery. And uh, I got maybe, you know, maybe a football field, maybe 100 yards down the road. And this is pretty much what I was faced with. And I looked in my rear view mirror and I saw a 
friend of mine. His name's Tom. He's from the Parks Department, which I'm in the Highway Department, used to be in the Parks. And he had his plow up, and I got out of the truck, and I was like, uh, Tom, I'm in a pretty bad way right now. I need all the help I can get. You know, if I try to take the center of the road, can you try and plow off what you can? He's like, absolutely, whatever you need. And I was fortunate enough that he took this video, so I was trying to clear off the center of the road, and he was coming up behind me in a, uh, I think, 350 pickup truck, which not really the... Uh, <laughs> Not really what a 350 is designed to do, but you know what? In an emergency like this, you got to do what you got to do. So clearly from that video, you could see that cars were getting stuck on this hill really badly. And what ended up happening was the, the police department obviously was called in and they were trying to turn cars around, get them unstuck, do whatever, which, you know, God bless them because I pretty much refuse to get on my plow truck to help out drivers just because it's so dangerous out there, you know? Somebody nails on that throttle, you know, and slide their car right into me. I, I could be a dead man in an instant. So, you know what, I, I just stay in my truck where it's safe. Sorry. Uh, I, I got to do my job, too. So the cops were out there trying to turn the cars around. I eventually was able to get through this. I ended up having to go up over the curb in order for me to pass this. Uh, I, I don't know if you can really see from this video here, but there was a a commuter bus stuck in the middle of the road and cars literally had to go off the side of the road to get up this hill so I eventually made it down here there was another hill maybe an, a mile away and there was just a good pedestrian a guy a local business owner he was telling anybody that didn't have four-wheel drive not to attempt the hill so when I reached him I said hey you know I don't know if I'm gonna slip down this hill I want you to hold up traffic till I make it up to the top of the hill so he held up traffic, made it to the top of the hill, gave him a couple toots with the air horn, and on I went. I was able to keep going on maybe another mile. I turned around, and I was coming back this way. Uh, I forgot to mention that I got a phone call from a number that I had never seen before. And I answered the phone, and it ended up being a, uh, a police detective. And he's like, hey, is this Hunter? And I said, yeah, this is this Detective So-and-So from So-and-So Police Department. Uh, where are you? We, we really need your help right now. And I said where I was at and uh, basically I was trying to get through a flat stretch of road and he really needed me up on the hill where everybody was really getting stuck. And what he told me was, uh, we're going to stop traffic and y y I need you to come up in the opposing lane of traffic. So he stopped traffic and probably for three quarters of a mile to a mile, I, I was going up the road in the imposing uh, lane of traffic which was pretty darn cool if you ask me I mean it's unfortunate that it it really came down to this but after I was able to uh, to get through traffic there and and plow a good pass up that hill I mean everything cleared up so this is definitely one storm that I won't forget anytime soon as well as all the motorists out there that got stuck for hours in this storm I'm sure they're not gonna forget about it too hopefully you guys weren't one of them but I think going through this storm, everybody learned a pretty valuable lesson that we need to be prepared. Um, if it's supposed to be a small storm, you know, always prepare for the worst. And I think uh, in the future, we definitely need to make a better effort to get our plow trucks ready earlier in the season for the future. But you know what, that's kind of above my level. That's kind of a management level. But, you know, it wasn't just my department. I think it was all the departments out there. And in addition to that, uh, you know, if it's going to snow, I think workplaces really need to send their employees home early. That way, you know, if they do need to commute long distances, then they won't get stuck out on the road, block traffic, and not allow plows to get through. So, you know what, that's, that's all I can say. That's all I have for today's video. If you guys enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing for more.